Good evening, I'm Karen Coviello, a PhD student from University of Basilicata in the south of Italy. Today I'll talk to you about Gasser, a new approach that by the use of genetic algorithm allow to reduce the size of the test suite. Regression testing is a very important activity that aims to ensure that changes made to a system under test don't alter its expected behavior. But test suite tends to grow in size as systems evolve. This is a problem because the regression testing is usually the last operation to do before a system release or a system integration. Different strategies have been defined to deal with this problem, and test suite reduction techniques allow to reduce the size of the test suite by removing redundant or obsolete test cases. Traditionally, test suite reduction approaches are based on a single dimension, but some investigations show that multiple dimensions approaches are appealing for test suite reduction, and thus with the sign gasser, a new approach for test suite reduction based on a multi-objective evolutionary algorithm, namely NSGA2. Gasser tried to reach three objectives at the same time. In particular, reduce test suites by maximizing statement coverage and diversity of test cases and by minimizing the tests, the size of the reduced test suite. Genetic algorithms start with the initial solutions and then select the best ones in order to recombine them and obtain better solutions with an iterative process. During the first step, an initial population is randomly created. Each individual is a solution of the problem and it is characterized by a set of parameters called genes, which compose its chromosome. In our approach, each individual is a reduced test suite randomly selected among all of those possible. The fitness function allows to assign a score to each solution in order to evaluate how the solution is near to the optimal one. In our case, the fitness function is composed of our three objectives, maximize the statement coverage and diversity, and minimizing the test suite sites. During the selection step, the individual with the better fitness function are chosen to create the new generation. Pair of chosen individuals are then mixed up in the crossover phase to create the next generation. We use the one point crossover in which the crossover point is randomly selected for each pair of parents. The mutation step works on a single solution and consists in a genetic mutation on the individual. This phase guarantees variability in the population and prevents premature convergence. The algorithm iterates these operations and stops when the maximum value is reached or when the population converges. In output, we have a set of optimal solutions and when plotted, we should have a Pareto front. To select the better trade-off among the three objectives, we adopt a criterion based on the compromise programming method. Our ideal point corresponds to the point with the maximum coverage and diversity and the minimum sites. We computed the Euclidean distance among the ideal point and each of each solution, that is a point in Pareto front. The solutions close to the ideal point is selected as the one that achieved the best trade-off among the objectives. We define seven instances of Gasser, which differ each other for the dissimilarity measure used to compute the test case the statement diversity, and this can allow us to find if exists the better Gasser configuration. To verify the idea and the proposed approach, we performed a preliminary experiment. Our question aims to verify if, compared to the baseline test with reduction approaches, Gasser can achieve a better trade-off in terms of reduction test with sites and loss in fault detection capability. In particular, we ran Gasser on 19 version of 8 Java system and we compared the Gasser best trade-off with 9 baseline test suite reduction approaches.
The preliminary results of our experiments show that some instances of the Gasser approach allow obtaining better trade-off in terms of reduction in test with sites and reduction in full detection capability as compared to the baseline approaches. Preliminary results justify our research on the use of genetic algorithm to reduce the test suite sites. In the future, we plan to extend experimentation to bigger systems with larger test suite and to extend empirical assessment with new statistical analysis and performance study on the scalability. Thank you for your attention.